Good evening, everyone. Day two of the track and field events at the Superior Dome. Time for coaches to learn whether at what events athletes should be in. Ishpeming, the host for Division Two today. Let's go to the boys 3200 relay. Everyone trying to figure out what pace they should run, except for Tanner Hootery, who decides to just jump on the field. He ended up with about, what, 150, 200 yard lead, and that would set up Nate Carey to bring it home in eight minutes, 5.28 seconds. And Nate says, yes, we should be doing this in every meet. Girls 3200 relay. And Gwyn off to a good start for a couple of laps, but then she would drop back to the field. And here's Ishpeming's Cora Swanson. Pulling away the last lap and a half to win in 11 minutes, 30.24 seconds. To the pole vault, Manistique's Emma Bryant. Good at six feet, six inches. Moments later, Hancock's Abby Fenton does the same. Ashley McDonald of Manistique won this event with Bryant second and Fenton third. To the boys, 55 meter hurdles, Hancock's Jack Fenton, lane four, if you can read upside down. Of course, it would also help if the number four was in your picture. There it is. He goes on to edge Andrew Poirier of Ishpeming, 9.21 seconds. On the girls' side, the winner also from Hancock, Mary Jarvis, a quick start, and she just pulled away to win in just over nine seconds. On the results, Ishpeming's boys had a 1 2 4 finish in the 800, led by winner Darren Jukin, and they win with 135 points going away. West Iron County second, Iron Mountain third. Alex DeWald won two events for Hancock, Bryce Bowden, the high jump and long jump for Norway. And on the girls' side, Ishpeming edges West Iron County by four points with Hancock third. West Iron County's Emmy Keener won the 55, 200, 400, and the long jump for the Wycons. Two Upper Peninsula High School basketball coaches have been named Region Coach of the Year by the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. North Central's Adam Mercier is the boys' winner. Mercier has led the Jets to a pair of Class D state titles and his team currently has a 55-game winning streak, which is tied for fourth in state history. Nagani's Brandon Sager is the region's girls' coach of the year. He helped the Miners win a Class C district last month. Baseball. Say hello to Escanaba, taking on Marquette. Bottom of the first, that's Brandon Punzel. And he is going to the right center field gap. And by the time that one is done, he's on third. And he would score on a wild pitch to give the Eskimos a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the seventh, tied it to Parker LaMarche with the base hit. And he was bunted to second base. And he was on third base with two outs and two strikes. Justin Popelka with your game winner to left field. And the Eskimos won a good ball game over Marquette by the count of three, two, and the celebration begins. On the scoreboard in high school softball, Chelsea Wiggins had a shutout in the circle for Marquette in both games, winning over Nagani 10-0 and 10-0. Rapid River swept the doubleheader from Unising. Easy in the first game, 15-0. Much tougher in the second, 4-3. College softball, Gladstone's Jessica Beaudry had the game-winning hit for Lakeland in the first game of a doubleheader, winning 8-7 over Marion in nine innings. And Lakeland, the Muskies, won the second game, 7-3. And in girls' soccer today, Kingsford with the overtime goal to edge Marquette, 2-1.